Stacy. Yeah, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm Stacy, and I am time management part two. So, um, time management. Um, if you're like me at all, time management is not really one of your strong points. So this has been a, a, a nice eye opener for me, and I hope to pass on some information that will be helpful for you to manage your time more effectively. So what is time management to you? Anybody have like a specific, what does it mean to you? Being able to accomplish all my tasks in one day without stressing myself out. Yeah, definitely. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at you at all. I'm if nervous. I could do that, it'd be a wonderful day. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, so time management is, it's a skill that many of us seem to learn through necessity. Um, the problem with learning through necessity is that more often than not, our bad habits kind of tend to creep in. And although the skill may be used in general, we do not use it to its full potential. Um, it's, all, it's a skill uh, that takes time to develop and perfect and it's different for everyone. And your best bet is to try a variety of different approaches that will work for you until something just kind of clicks in your brain and sticks into your routine. Um, sorry. Okay, so taking the time to read up on improving time management skills can lead to great rewards. And some examples of the rewards are the elimination of procrastination, and avoidance of tasks, which is a big one. Um, we'll get that back to that later. It's a big one for me. <laughs> um, another reward is easier, quicker evaluation of your work and abilities. There's less worrying about deadlines. You're not completely stressed out when you have something coming up. Um, you're more productive. Um, you also have more relaxation time if you manage your time effectively. You can just take time to relax. And, and the most obvious reward, of course, is an overall increase in your time. So, let's see. Okay, I, I have a few helpful tips that you might consider to help you with your time management. And the biggest one that I use, um, I've been doing it for about a year now and it really helps. Sometimes I forget to do, do it, but I do is to make a list. I make a list every single day, usually before I go to bed at night when I'm thinking about things that I need to do the next day. And in the morning, I review my list and think of maybe new things that I need to add to my list. And so I think that's the best and easiest way for me. Um, and I keep a time management log. I just recently started doing this when I started this project. And I have one here, actually, that I can pass along to you if you want. Um, it helps me um, to like go through my daily goals. And you can make copies of this if you're interested. So yes, here's a time management log. <laughs> made like a bunch of copies of this and I put it in a binder and you know I just along with I have my list that I carry with me in my purse everywhere I go but this I just keep at home by my computer because I have a lot of lab classes so I do a lot of work on my computer basically so it's always there and you just write down your goals for the day and then you know just go down the list and it helps me so hopefully it'll help you um, and you can use this for long-term goals as well, not just your everyday goals. It's good for long-term goals. Um, make use of your downtime. 
Um, use like time that you use walking, driving, when you're driving to school, riding the bus, whatever you do, showering, I mean, just like your dead time. Use that time to kind of plan in your head like things that you want to accomplish and get done. And prioritization is the key for sure. And a lot of people don't do this, but I think it's important to reward yourself. Um, whenever you accomplish one of your goals, if it's small, big or small, um, just reward yourself. Like I know for me, when I reward myself every time I get an A in my math, because math is like my most challenging subject, so um, I do reward myself with a little shopping spree. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be big, just, you know, something. And this is hard for me, but try to concentrate on one thing. Um, my mind works like a million miles a minute a lot of the time, so to try to stay focused on a certain goal is helpful. And again, avoid procrastination at all costs. You know, it's procrastination is like the ultimate productivity killer. <laughs> it's it's a hard one. And then it's important to avoid burnout. You know, people just have so much going on in their lives and just try to take some time for yourself and not get burnout. Um, so we are going to talk about the four Ds. Um, first, what the four Ds is, is what you would do is you would make a to-do list. And then when you're looking over your to-do list, you take into consideration the four Ds, and this is for effective time management. And the first one is do. 